This is a quick video to show you how to use recurring general journals in Dynamics 365 Business Central. It's really pretty easy. Uh, what I've done here is I have a journal entry that I want to recur. It happens to be recording rent expense against a prepaid rent account. You can see the way I have it set up here. Uh, the recurring method I have is fixed, which means it will use the same amount every time I post it. The recurring frequency I set here is one month. And you can specify the frequency in a number of different ways. Here's an example of what you can do if you want to get the last day of the month here. This is the posting date. It's going to be the date on which the next transaction posts when I post this batch. I've just created a, a document number here, and these are the two accounts I have. You can also set an expiration date if you want to here. Um, the expiration date is identified here. After that point, it won't recur anymore. You can also put these into batches. So I've got three batches here. This one's a monthly batch, but I have a default batch which comes with the system. I've identified a quarterly batch as well. So this is one area in Business Central where you can specify the batch and use the batch. And then once I have it set up, all I need to do is post this. And when I post it, it'll post this entry. And it's going to update the posting date for the next time that I post it. Now the posting date's been updated to the next month. So let's just take a look at this transaction. We'll look at this account here, the prepaid account. It's right here. Let's look at the entries here. These are the two entries that have been posted from that batch recurring. You can see the amounts right here. So you can see it's really easy to use the recurring general journal functionality in Business Central. This will make your life just a little bit easier on some of those general accounting tasks.